Channel 13 Weekend News starts now. Thanks for joining us this Saturday Live at 5. I'm Paulina Vutska. It's a wet one outside, so let's take you right outside as we track this extreme weather in the Vegas Valley. Ominous skies and rain outside right now. Here's a live look at the Vegas Valley. You see some of those raindrops on our camera, and we are tracking Hurricane Hillary. The remnants of Hillary expected to hit fully on Sunday right here in the Vegas Valley, but we have already seen rain yesterday and today like we're seeing on that camera. Hillary impacting lake goers and boaters at Lake Mead as the National Park closed today ahead of the impending weather. Vegas residents have also been getting ready for this historic weather. The last time that we saw hurricane conditions was back in 1939. And tonight we have team coverage making sure that you are weather aware and safe before stepping outside. Isabella Martin is standing by with the latest update on the roads. But first, let's check in with meteorologist Erica Cattery. Erica, what's it like out there? And Paulina, well, we are seeing some light showers moving through the Las Vegas Valley, also out around Pahrump right now. And basically, these showers are coming from the south because of Hurricane Hillary, which we've been talking about uh, these last couple of days. Now, it was a Category 3 hurricane, but it has weakened this afternoon. So what does that exactly mean? Well, it means that the wind speeds have gone down. So when it was a Category 3 hurricane, winds were over 110 miles per hour. It has since dropped to below 110 miles per hour and it's expected to weaken tomorrow. So when it does make landfall and cross the border from the south tomorrow, those winds will be below 73 miles per hour. Now with that flash flood watch in effect all weekend, officials are advising you to stay off the roads and we have more with Isabella Martin, who is in Summerlin right now. I'm going to send it over to you, Isabella. How's it looking out there? Erica, I'm at the intersection between the 215 and Summerlin Parkway, and right now the roads are looking pretty dry. As you can see over here, there are no puddles, although it has been raining for the past hour. But after the heavy rain we got yesterday, and with Hurricane Hillary on the way, Staying safe on the roads is really important. I talked to the owner of 